Hey sports fans, Coach Nick here and welcome to B-Ball Breakdown. I went through the Knicks Sixers game from yesterday and there was a negative 19 differential for both Wilson Chandler and Tony Douglas. So naturally I assumed it must be their fault why they lost. However, going through the footage, I was surprised by another player that really, really killed them and basically was the reason for the loss. That said, Elton Brand seems to have enjoyed a resurgence. He looks like he's back to his old self when he was playing with the Clippers, doing little jump shots, getting blocked shots, getting rebounds. So he looks terrific and it's gl I'm glad to see him recovered from his injuries completely. Here is classic Elton Brand. They do a screen and roll, he gets the ball back, a little shot fake, and two dribbles and a little fade away. Beautiful. His speed has appeared to return as well. In the open court, he can sprint down the floor, get all the way down, and get a nice little pull up. Brand has crazy long arms, and he's back to being active on defense as he slaps the ball away here, races back down court, and then gets fouled, going strong to the basket. Here's the best example of Brand being back completely physically. He gets beaten off the dribble, but still out of nowhere comes in and gets that block shot. This is the zipper play that Philadelphia is running, but the wrinkle they do is instead of throwing it to the top, they're going to go to the post. Holiday cuts the basket, which is going to force Brand's man to step over for a second, opening him up for a little turnaround jump shot. Classic Elton Brand. With Tony Douglas, I was assuming I'd see a lot of bad defense and lackadaisical nature. Here, he's active, he's pressuring the ball, he gets a steal, comes all the way down the court and gets a beautiful little layup. With Wilson Chandler, I assumed I'd just see a lot of bad shots one-on-one, -on -one. but here it's out of the offense, he pulls up nice and smooth, this is great. And here, Tony Douglas, again, he's active on the weak side, he's going to slide in there and get another steal on the big man from the high post. Terrific stuff. The worst I could find is Douglas not closing out and then not hustling to get back into play so they get a layup. That said, the Philadelphia Sixers miss it and they come down and here comes Wilson Chandler down the court. There are four guys back, count them, and he takes a really bad floating shot. But that's it. Otherwise, you had Douglas making really nice shots like this one. Okay, he did make one pretty bad play. After leading the break, he doesn't come to a jump stop and knocks the guy over for a charge. And Chandler had a bad turnover here in the open court, but not too big of a deal. But then I noticed something. Raymond Felton's defense started to kill them. Watch him here as he's lackadaisical, standing around, doesn't close out well, and Holiday had already hit a couple threes. Watch how bad he is in transition. He picks up the man, but doesn't even step over, and the guy gets right to the basket for a layup. That couldn't be worse. His effort here is very poor, and he has a very distinct lack of awareness. The ball goes up on top, and he gets beaten backdoor so easily, the other team gets a three-pointer in the corner from it. So he tries to get it right back, which is usually a bad idea. Look here, there aren't any Knicks anywhere near the lane when he takes this shot. So of course it's a bad shot, no rebound, and the Philadelphia comes back down again. Douglas and Chandler will keep helping their team. Here's a beautiful drive by him off the glass. Meanwhile, Felton over dribbles to the basket and then just throws a pass away. Back on defense, he's not in his stance, he's not pressuring the ball. He does some weird little dance because he's not ready, and then he hugs the screener while Turner gets a beautiful jump shot. Here's an interesting sequence of bad decisions by Felton. He goes to the basket, he just had Gallinari hit a three, and instead of passing to him, he takes his ill-advised shot and then decides to pressure the outlet pass. Well, what that does is forces everybody else to pick up his man, so now the Knicks have complete mismatches everywhere, and ultimately that's going to cause Wilson Chandler to have to foul the shooter. And here's a really just awful, awful fourth quarter turnover. These kind of decisions must be a little bit contagious because here's where Douglas does one bad move. He takes a really ill-advised shot there, and on the way back down, he doesn't play defense correctly. He goes underneath the screen, allowing Drew Holiday, who's already hit a bunch of threes, to hit another one, which effectively is about to seal the game. So there you have it. Mike D'Antoni must be rolling around in his bed tonight because he's watching this footage and he's realizing that he's got a point guard they paid a lot of money for who is making horrible decisions and sinking the ship. Now he might change, he might get better, we'll see. I hope he watches this because that's a lot of mistakes to make, particularly in the fourth quarter. That's going to be nothing but cause you doom for the team. 
That said, I'm going to go through the Lakers and Clippers offenses and compare and contrast those next. So don't forget to subscribe, tell your friends about us at B-Ball Breakdown. We're almost at 1,100 subscribers, and we're going to keep going exponentially. So let's keep it up, and I'll see you next time at B-Ball Breakdown. And don't forget, it's not a channel, it's a conversation.